Hey guys, welcome back to Out of Work Outdoors. My name is Connery, and 47 is behind the camera today. Welcome to the, the office. Uh, this is the office of 2021, and going forward, we are going to be running a aluminum boat. It is a 19-foot, 10-inch boat. It's from G3. The model name is a 1910, and... You know, it was a pretty good journey uh, into why we picked this boat and why we favored this boat versus the other boat. So, uh, when we first started, we were looking at the, the Tracker uh, 195 TXW, and 47 actually went down to Bass Pro, looked at it, and he just wasn't satisfied with the quality of the boat. So, we decided to uh, look at other brands and models. And we looked at a uh, Crestliner. Uh, we looked at the, I think it's a 195, which, which is what their model is, and uh, it was also a 19 and a half foot boat, but that one came standard with a 115 horsepower, and we were pretty, we were pretty fixed on that boat already. Like we were that close to buying one, and we get, we jumped on the forums and uh, the Crestliner group on Facebook, and it was just a lot of like iffy stories. Half the half the buyers were happy with the boat. Half the buyers were like, "Stay away." And to us, that's not good enough. So we decided to. Uh, uh, well, here's the other thing too. We really wanted a Yamaha motor if the prices were comparable. So we initially looked at G3, and then we went away. We came back. So uh, when we came back to G3, it came standard with a 150 horsepower uh, Yamaha show, uh, which is seems like it's rigged on every single one of these uh, boats that that's on a dealership a uh, lot so when we started looking the price was a little above thirty thousand I'll, I'll be honest we paid fair market value for this price for this boat uh they wouldn't drop the prices at all because uh boats are selling like hotcakes right now so it's either it's on the dealership floor you want it or you don't so that's kind of the attitude we got at least when we went to the dealerships because I even asked, you know, are you guys taking offers on these offers on these boats, or, or is it just sticker price? And every dealership was like, that sticker price, you know, basically take it or leave it. So we ended up going down. We actually ended up going out of our our state, our city, to go pick up uh, this boat. Uh, we drove two and a half hours, and we actually we got it. Uh, and that was, that was one of the decisions we wanted a, a Yamaha. We wanted a big boat. Not 24 size, but the 20 foot size boat just felt like it was right for us because we felt that if we bought a 17 or 18, we was gonna upgrade later. So why don't we just get the one that you you should get? So this is the boat. Okay, so a couple of features I'll let 47 talk you over um, everything, but there's a couple things on this boat that makes it a really good multi species boat. So that for us was a requirement. We wanted a boat that was fast enough to do tournaments fast enough to you know get out of harm's way because you know every once in a while we go fishing and the thunderstorms just pop up you got to get back to the wrap fast so that's the reason why we want a higher horsepower motor nothing wrong with 115 but i'm just saying there's gonna be certain situations where the we say the 150 is gonna come in handy uh the layout was another thing that we really looked at so we'll let 47 talk about that once again but uh we bought the boat the boat is ours now and you guys will be seeing a lot of it uh, the next year so look forward to uh, striper runs uh, look forward to the, the white bass stuff of course you're gonna see out of work dad in here too uh, we took him out a couple of times with the kayaks and he was like I'm, I'm done with pedaling forget that crap <laughs> so so we, we bought a boat we're gonna take him out and do a lot of fishing uh, definitely a lot of that uh, definitely a lot of summer events where we're dropping spoons 30 40 50 60 feet and that's what we plan to do. So, uh, we haven't named the boat yet. So, if you guys have a name suggestion, uh, put it in the comments and we will consider them. So, yeah, that's all. That's all I got to say. Like I said, it's the, we bought it bare bones. We, we're going to rig up everything. We have a lot of plans for this boat. We got a lot of people that have a lot of knowledge around us. So, we're going to rig it out with Hummerbird Electronics, jack plates, upgraded trolling motors. We're going to do, this is the office too, by the way. So, we're going to, you know, we're going to change the seats out more than likely because the, the seating position is not perfect for us. Uh, we'll discuss that in a little bit when we review the boat. Uh, we're going to basically rig out a lot of charging stations because as you can see, we're on camera right now. So that's the plan for the, the coming year. You guys will see the prog progression of the boat and uh, 
tag along if you guys want to you know, enjoy the adventures with us. All right, guys? Yo. Hey, everybody. It's 47 here. I'm just going to do kind of like a quick walkthrough. We haven't done anything to this boat. We, bought, we did buy this boat pretty plain. Uh, so this is basically all that comes with the boat off the lot. You get yourself a trolling motor. This is a maximum 70 pound thrust regular trolling motor. Uh, it does have a recessed uh, foot tray. You do have your, uh, um, what was this thing called? Maybe trim. <laughs> oh yeah, your trim button here. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty, I mean, in my opinion, looks pretty cheap, but it works for now. Uh, you do have your, uh, these pedal seats. Yeah, and they do have the extender where we didn't put it in. The front deck is really wide. I, I think it was 92 inches. Which is pretty it's awesome. It's a 90 or 90 inch, 2 inch I beam. I think it's a 92 it's inch beam, which is pretty cool because you can like, I can like yeah. basically lay down across. I'm not that tall, but this is one of my requirements. <laughs> Sometimes when you're out fishing, you're too tired, you just can take a nap. Yep. Oh. You know, after pulling so many strappers, you know, you gotta take yeah, but this is, five yeah. minute break. <laughs> I love the awesome big deck. Uh, one thing that I do like is the storage. We have a ton of storage. That's a lot of storage. Yeah. Same thing on this side. This is for like tackle storage. Right now we are, we just have a bunch of crap in here. Yeah, for, for the process of uh, yep. the two down. more. These up here have locks. And then these are just more storage for tackle for, trays for and tackle stuff. Trays. We'll probably end up doing something like that. I feel like we could make something better out of that. Did not come with this bait. <laughs> Did not come with that. Did not come with that bait. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you got a ton of tackle storage. Um, these are not removable. They're, you got screws on yeah. it, but they're not removable. You got a little step here. here. And then this is like one of my favorite things. is the center uh, rod locker. Yep. Yep. So, it's pretty big. And my favorite part is it fits eight and a half foot rods. Which is why is that important? It's important for me because I throw a lot of big rods, <laughs> surf rods, for stripers, you know. So yeah. that's a that's a plus. That was one of the big selling points for me. Like one of the things we had to have because most of the other uh, boats that we looked at, I mean, it was seven seven and a half. I think it was like the longest I've seen. Yeah, quite honestly, you could probably do more if you take that plate yeah, out I mean, and just stick the rods. We're all throwing, the way up. you know, big baits. With big rods, and we need we need the storage space for it. Yeah, there's like a surf rod in somewhere, right? Uh, nah, I took it yeah. out. Yeah. I had a surf, surf rod in here. Yeah, rod here. yeah, but we have like eight foot swim bait rods in here. As you guys see, we have a rigs already rigged yeah. up. And there's gonna be more. Yep. This is another eight foot inch for rod. Yeah. So, yeah, well, I mean, eventually, I think we're gonna modify this um, locker. We're gonna just go ahead and take the. Uh, um, that organizer, yeah, tube organizer thing. tube thing out, out, sure, yeah. and then we'll be able to shove even more rods in there. So yeah, so it's good for I don't know six rods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another thing but I like. We want to grab like thirty of them in there, so yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll show you another thing project. I like is this rod locker's got shocks. Shocks. So easy open and close. Yes. And yeah, there are locks. There are locks on here. All right, console. Um, so one, this is one of the issues that we've had that we saw at the dealer and we're gonna like, should we talk about the cracks? Yeah. Okay. You know. So this is one of the issues that we've, we found, uh, at the dealer before we bought the and boat. they did warranty. Yeah. Then, they and they did them. warranty it for us. This console came with some like stress cracks. Stress cracks. Yeah. A bunch yeah. on this side. There's a little bit and here. And there's one like all right here. Yeah. So that there's a stress right crack here. right here. So, well, you guys know the real deal because yeah. uh, brand new boat's not supposed to have this. Yeah. So here, bunch of stress cracks right here. Cracks. If you guys see that, but cracks, 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 cracks. So they did say they were gonna order us to do console, and they'll, they'll put it in for us. Yeah, and then uh, besides that, I mean the console's pretty plain. You do get a windshield, which windscreen, I guess, windscreen. which is pretty cool. A lot of the other boats that we were looking at, um, like the the crest liner, that was an option you had to add on. I think it was like the pro package that came with the windscreen. Right, right, right. So this boat being pretty plain came with it and that's pretty pretty nice. Comes with your like um, RPM gauge and miles per hour gauge. 
which is not accurate. Yeah. <laughs> you, I mean, there, it's new, but we're, you can't really trust it. Uh, it does come with this little fish finder, which is a Lawrence Lance hook. hook. Reveal. reveal. That's like a three hundred dollar unit. Yeah. It really doesn't do too too much. Yeah. It's got some built-in maps and basic two D. Where's the horn? Here, here's the horn. <laughs> <laughs> Makes us laugh all the time. It's kinda of weak. Eventually we're gonna put basically two graphs up here, so right. this is gonna come out. This is the idea very is temporary. To have yeah. A helix seven on one side, a helix ten on one side. Basically an old school eleven ninety eight and a helix ten mega. Because we have 360 already, and we're planning to run the live. I mean, yeah. Let's be honest, you know, we're chasing stripers, yeah. so should be an excellent uh, option for us. Another cool option is tilting uh, steering wheel, steering wheel. Yeah. but we don't have a sliding seat. Yeah, I wish this thing came with a so, sliding seat. Yeah, jump in the seat. Jump in the seat. So we're pretty short. My brother. We're like five four, five five. Yeah, five four. Even I'm my other like brother's like five seven. Yeah, um, hybrid is like five seven, five eight. Yeah. So he he's okay, but for us, pretty seriously yeah. pretty far. If you want to sit with your back against the rest. Yeah. So I mean, it's okay, but I mean, ideally, I want the seat to be like yeah up here more. When you're doing fast speeds, you wanna you're watching some bent yeah. arms around the steering wheel so you can steer. Hide underneath this windscreen. Yeah. Well, you know, we want we want the seat to be up maybe six inches. But it doesn't allow you to keep it bleeding. Yeah, that. so you, yeah, you can't really uh, scoot the seat yeah, forward. So Which, not really a deal breaker for me. It's okay. Well, uh, we'll figure something work, out because yeah. we do need to move it up for safety reasons. Yeah. To, to better drive the boat and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, there is storage options. There's, yeah, there is uh, storage under the seat. So you lift the seat forward. Yeah. It's on this little bracket. And yeah, uh, you have uh, storage here. It does go under. And I think there's a block off plate in the middle. This, Oh, is this yeah. this one? Uh, no, nope. this thing is solid. solid yeah. okay. so Same with that seat, yeah. Side. So, but you do have three seats, and this center one does fold down to become a step, as you right. can see. It's pretty dirty already. Oh yeah, because you know we actually use our boat. Yep, uh -huh. three of us, so uh, having yeah, three seats is pretty uh, nice. Let's take a look at this the live wheel thing over here. This is another seller for us. Yeah, check out this live wheel. It's like so all huge. the other boats in this class does. In my opinion, does not have a big enough live wheel for us because because we do stripers, we do everything, right? So this is, I think it's a thirty-three gallon uh, live wheel. Yep. So that, what that means to us is we can put plenty of stripers in here. Yeah. That's what that means. Uh, plenty of bass. It's got a little divider, which I think is a kind of gimmicky. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, if you could, you know, somehow build a legit divider. It does come under research, research. So. Yep. Research which is cool because the other boats. Didn't have research. Not standard. Not standard. Yeah. 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 So that's basically it. Oh, right next to it, like, you do have more, more tackle trays, tackle trays Play-No boxes that actually came in the boat. So that's pretty cool. And we have just been throwing junk in here yep. lately. Right. Same thing on this side. Yep. Get another Same pedestal seat. Side. More tackle stuff. We do have another pedestal seat yes. with the extension, but it's not in right now. Uh, back here is the business end, yep. which is a Yamaha 150 SHO, yep. and we've just broken this thing in, so Basically. we haven't even like topped it out or anything yet. Yep. So. It's a nice motor. Yeah. Let me crank it so I can hear. We're still breaking it in. Yeah. Yeah. So you turn the key. Oh, so take the key out. Put the key in. Everything lights up. Oil light and overheat light they both turn off and you can crank it pretty quiet yeah it's pretty quiet perfect for you know trolling and things like that so, so if you guys did watch our last video or the video where we kind of revealed the boat to you guys yeah. we did have an issue with this uh uh, motor uh, when we first got here when we were trying to break it in uh, one of the fuel lines actually popped off the fuel filter inside yeah, the cowling inside the cowling and so caused the motor to die so it took us like 30 minutes to figure that out and call it, dealer. yeah the tech's pretty good crank right time, back up like, so yeah. yeah so a lot of little little things if you wanted to like 
nitpick this motor or this boat combination if we were going to nitpick i would say one make the seats adjustable at least the driver's seat number two all these cables i don't know if that's a dealership thing or a yamaha thing do something about that you know you pick it and uh up front and the trolling motor engages and disengages there's a strap on it but when you pull the trolling motor up it actually hits the nose of the boat and once again if you're nitpicking which i i kind of do sometimes because you know we come from the automotive world where everything has to be perfect where everything has to be perfect because yeah. he literally was the dealer, yeah, yeah the D, he we worked for mercedes what two years yeah and, and stuff like this so that gap problem I know all people always be saying two boats are never built the same. Well, that's true. Mm -hmm. Because there's a gap on this side, there's a gap on this side, and sometimes it rattles <laughs> when you're yeah. riding it. So, yeah, uh, these are not compression lids, so they yeah. just kind of like rattle sometimes, but it's not too big no, of a deal. Like that. No big deal. Yeah. Um, Worksmanships, you know, if you want to nitpick stuff, I guess that wasn't folded properly. I mean, it's just not pretty. Yeah, I mean, it, it like, is. Yeah. The reason why I say this is because I bought, I just bought a Tacoma, right? We just bought a thirty-four thousand dollar Tacoma, and this boat is thirty-six thousand. In my opinion, the quality should be about the same. Yeah. And if you're, if this is, this is honestly, this is our first, first brand new boat yeah, too. Yeah, this is our first brand yeah. new boat. So we're just coming from car expectations <laughs> i don't know yeah. what it, i don't know that's if this is normal compare, for yeah. boats that's why we had to compare so. yeah that's why we got to compare so i'm assuming this is normal for a boat i don't know let me know in the comments if it is but yeah that's what we got yeah that's oh we got. also we this boat came with the vinyl flooring oh yeah 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 so. big deal this is not carpet we opted the, the boat does have an option for carpet or vinyl and for what we do and for our long time subs you guys know we be doing the blood damage too much yeah. so it gets pretty dirty carpet gets pretty dirty yeah. i mean you could like wash it off and stuff but this right. is probably just easier to clean so oh, it's way easier for us yeah yep. so, that's it yep i mean oh another thing is you do have two straps to tie down your rods oh, that's pretty cool two little minky straps <laughs> we're like empty <laughs> straps yep um, but lots of uh oh, the other thing was um Last thing that I need to pick is this this thing here. This thing needs to be stored underneath, like something. Cause there's uh, there's a rear light and the front light right here. Just, just kind of hanging out. Some of it just coming in. Yeah, I mean, grab it off your boat. You it know? would be nice if you just had that stored underneath somewhere, so yeah, it's kind of yeah. just out of the way. Like even if you, you took this here, and you yeah. put it underneath this somehow, like from the bottom. Minor improvements they could they could do. Anyways. It's Connery. Four seven. This is kind of a little overview of the boat. Yeah. Hope, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, sub to the channel if you haven't already. We got a lot of plans for this boat. A lot of rigging. A lot of adventure stuff. Check all the boxes yeah. above. A lot of fish on this lake. <laughs> on this lake especially. This is a home lake you could yeah. say. And uh, yep. Yeah. See you guys on the next one.